people gut houses all the time. But did you know at one point the White House even had to be gutted because it was falling apart? Those stories are just some of many being shared tonight by a unique speaker here in the Metro. Alexis Del Cid explains all new at four. Clifton Truman Daniel is Harry S. Truman's oldest grandson, and he'll be speaking at the Truman Presidential Library and Museum tonight, sharing his grandpa's stories. That includes what his family describes as a dilapidated, falling apart White House when Truman became president. Look at these pictures Clifton Truman Daniel showed us of what it looked like. He says some modifications by past presidents led to floors creaking, things popping, and a general feeling that being inside the White House was simply not safe. The White House was falling apart on the inside, primarily due to just a couple of questionable decisions on the part of Theodore Roosevelt and Calvin Coolidge, and neither one of them really they weren't architects. He says at one point his grandma's piano pierced the floor and narrowly missed falling through the dining room ceiling. Other family members have said the floors would sometimes sway as if they were floating in space. It was not in good condition at all. And part of that was because, because of the depression and because of the war. The Roosevelts had not felt comfortable putting any money into their own comfort, their own home while there was a war on and while people were suffering through a depression. He also says there was a terrible rat problem. So over the course of more than two years, his grandfather gutted the White House down to its original walls and started from scratch. But Clifton says he still thinks his grandfather's biggest accomplishment will always be showing America that a man born in Lamar, Missouri, who grew up in middle class America, could one day be president. He also shares and stresses that his grandfather always played down the fact that he had been president of the United States. He says his grandfather didn't want him and the other grandkids to get a big head over it. There will also be other family members of past presidents at tonight's event as well, including the Kennedys and the Eisenhowers. So this will be a real sneak peek into an often unseen part of history. Alexis Del Cid, KCTV 5 News. Well, that sounds fascinating. The event is tonight. It is free. If you'd like to register, still time. We've posted a link on our KCTV5 mobile app. Just click found it on 5.